Dicky, would you like to explain to everybody why you're a soggy doggy this morning? Mummy, I'm really not sure if it's what your audience want to hear, but I actually pooed myself this morning. Oh, and now you're on the furniture. So Mummy had to give me a, mess, a bottom bath. I'm still a bit wet, Mummy, but I'm a much happier boy. Yes. Growling at Dexie. Dexie! Dickie. Dexie? Dickie. Oh, mommy, I'm so excited and I don't really know why, but I know that I'm really excited. So pretty. Cool. Still got a slightly wet tongue tongue. Very curly bottom. I'm doing that yeah? Yep. Yeah, they look really good. You like it? This is what walks look like from a doggy perspective. What's going on, young man? Well, you see, Daddy, my brother went under, but I go over. I saw Mummy went over, so I tried oh, to join her. But the little like boy is so bright under your feet. Don't you say that you didn't want me? What is it, my Dexie? me upside down and then you in my bed under my skin. Where will it end if I let it begin? So busy, you know life's too short. So let's not waste more. I really don't like that. I'm not sure. Stunning day so far. I look like I've got a bit of dust on my nose. My camera's got so dusty lately. I think it's just from, well, the house is dusty. But um, as you saw, we just went for the most gorgeous morning walk. It was probably an hour long walk, about the most that the boys can handle. And we went bright and early because today it's apparently gonna get up to 22 degrees and we just want to chill in the garden for the day. Charlie went to the butchers a couple of days ago and we've got some things for a barbecue later and I have just, well, the towel is on the ground because I had to wash the boys after the walk um, and then I've set up these <laughs> deck chairs. They don't look very visually appealing right now but they are, they were just from Sainsbury's. They're the same ones that we had in Clapham. I think they were like £20 per deck chair and they are so comfortable because they've got squishy cushions underneath um, and then I've just thrown a couple of blankets over the top. So I'm now going to sit down in the sunshine and read some magazines. I got a Cotswold Life um, from Waitrose a couple of weeks ago and I've also got some Grazias to have a little flick through. Sounds like the perfect morning. Charlie's in the kitchen cooking breakfast. The dogs are just enjoying a nice little treat because they were so good when I put them in the bath. Or the sink I should say. So yeah, it's going to be a lovely day. Now this is good service. <laughs> Goodness me, this is just glorious. Just finished brunch um, and the postman has dropped off a couple of things, including some fabric samples. I cannot see the screen right now, so I have no idea if you can even see me. Um, but with my coffee, I'm just gonna go through some of these fabric samples. I ordered from about 
six different companies and these are the two that have come so far i have ordered some from john lewis as well um these are a little bit more bespoke so this is a company called peony and sage and then another company is called rose and fox gloves now these fabric samples um i have a few things in mind firstly charlie and i have ordered already on etsy some uh, I think they're like French antique, I can't remember how old they are, but they're beautiful antique armchairs and within the price that we paid it actually includes reupholstery but I need to organise the fabric for them to be reupholstered so two armchairs, one potentially for the um, family room but more likely it's going to be a bedroom, they're going to be bedroom chairs and then also I ordered again on Etsy an antique French bed, which again needs reupholstering, which is going to go in the um, the room that's currently grey with the curved wall that's going to be pink. So, yeah, that is what these fabrics are for, to see potentially if there's any that I like for those tasks. And making cushions maybe, making covers for deck chairs, things like that. So starting off with Peony and Sage. This first one is called Giselle Grand Shell Pinks on Vintage Oyster White. It's a really faded floral. I have no idea if you can see this or not. Like a cream fabric with a really beautiful faded floral. This is what I had in mind for the bed in the pink bedroom. It's not too statement. And this is very similar, but it's more like an ostrich feather plume. I think I prefer the floral. Then we have something similar, Millie Powder Pink on Ivory, a little bit more of a, a busy floral print, again really faded so it should look nice and you know suitable with an antique French bed. And then this is on a slightly more grey background, Millie Powder Pink on Cream Linen. I really hope you can see these, I have no idea. Yeah, they are really similar. And then some slightly more shabby chic, I actually think I'm going off this slightly more shabby chic style fabric this one is called sweet pea and roses i think it looks really nice for outdoor furniture so maybe um cushions like this would be really nice covered in this kind of material and then one that i really liked not sure what for um is this one it doesn't have a name on it but it's just a pink kind of candy stripe Again, for outdoor furniture and cushions, and especially if we get any like bolster cushions to put on the bed, it's really nice to see how they go together as well. So for example, if I used this one, and I am gonna try reupholstering the antique French bed myself, so that would be something interesting to document. If the bed was reupholstered in this fabric, the pink is very similar in the stripe. So this could make for some really nice scatter cushions on the bed and then the last one is another slightly shabby chic style it's called the millie antique nude um, and it's a really classic i would say like a french antique floral print um, on a cream linen so they are very lovely i need to keep them all together so that i don't forget which website i've ordered them from i like the name of this peony and sage i'm sure someone out there has got a blog called peonies and sage I used to be obsessed with, um, or still am, kind of Rachel Parcell, Pink Peonies. She's a blogger based in Utah, um, and Cupcakes and Cashmere. They were some of the first blogs that I ever followed. And then, Rose and Foxglove from Artist Palette to Beautiful Linens, a gorgeous collection of vintage and French inspired fabrics from my original designs of work. Ah, from the beautiful Derbyshire Peak District, inspired by her love of the English countryside. So, he he just gave me a bark. Yeah, he was like, D Daddy, stop it. <sighs> These ones are all slightly more shabby chic. Again, really sweet for little cushions, potentially. That one's oh, like quite that. It's quite a busy, yeah. busy floral. Oh, that's nice. This one's a little bit more um, feminine, potentially for the French armchairs. Beautiful. That we're getting um, reupholstered on Etsy. Where are they going to live, the armchairs? For? Well, I think in bedrooms. One yeah. in the pink they're, room. They're nice colours for bedrooms. You wouldn't want them in living spaces with dogs. No, that but is a very good point. They're beautiful. This one's called the Sicily Trellis Soft White Linen. Beautiful. And then this one is a slightly bigger pattern, um, like a circular pattern, which is called the Ring of Roses Soft White Linen. I think I slightly prefer the Peony and Sage ones, um, but the busier ones from Rose and Foxgloves. <coughs> 
Yes. Absolutely no idea. So of course I'm not going to make any decisions until all of my fabric samples arrived. As I said, I've got quite a few coming from John Lewis um, and some other websites that I can't remember the name of. So I'll keep you posted, but let me know if you have any favourites. I just woke up from a nap in the sunshine. It is 22 degrees according to my Instagram story, you know, when you swipe up and find the temperature. Um, and I've popped on this top, which had so many questions when I popped it on my Instagram stories the other day. Um, it's currently 12 99 I think I only paid 15 99 for it, um, but it's perfect for days like today because it's shirred, so it's not like tight on the body. Um, so you feel very breezy and obviously as you can see you can just pull the straps down so no tan lines if you do pick up a bit of colour in the sun and then I've just got it on with my white shorts. Um, these are like a faux linen material, they were from Topshop a couple of years ago but um, I can't find them this year although Topshop have, I think it was Topshop I was on this morning, have something similar with a little buckle, maybe as ASOS but I'll leave the similar versions linked down below as well. Um, so we've had our nap in the sun the dogs are looking so scruffy from where i washed them this morning their hair is just dried at like the weirdest angles i'll show you dexter in a second he's just having a, a glug of water um and i think charlie and i are going to go around to the front of the house now and plant some roses dexie i'd like to show everybody how scruffy you are <gasps> look at that bad hair day that's what you call coronavirus haircut i have not had a haircut daddy now. don't take the piss i just it does look so scruffy i try to be smart at all times i'd but like I... a shaved head like my daddy but mommy wouldn't let me no puppies look silly you if they're such shaved a i really like being under the deck chair don't take me out daddy i'm nice and cool here okay, my boy. i'm a bit hot if i'm honest but you know what can you do daddy sweet angel Ah, he's emerged. Now we can properly see how scruffy you are. You're so scruffy. You look like you've been dragged through the hedge backwards. Silly boy. You're still the most handsome boy I've ever met, Dexie. Where's your brother? Ah, there he is. There's the chicky lean. Daddy made me a den and it's so nice and cool under here. So nice and cool. I've even got my water under here on my doggy bed. Just sniffing my brother. planted or 50% of them are and now it's time to give my boys a bit of a groom and we have our first visitor to the puppy parlor you came over so willingly my boy right let's try and de-scruff you This is what I'm having for lunch. This is what I picked up from Dalesford yesterday. Three cheese tart and um, this is a kind of pea pasta and a cauliflower tabbouleh. Would you believe that the cauliflower and the pasta were £8.40? They did it by weight um, and I did not realise that it was that much when I was getting it but oh my goodness, this had better be tasty. What have you got there darling? So we are going all lavender. Right, we're going to go white lavender in this one. And Gorgeous. Lavender in the other one. Yeah? Um, it smells immense. 
We definitely need to put something in the oh, bottom Oh, we're going to get loads of terracotta in both of them, yeah? Yeah. For the drainage, well, because they need the drainage. Yeah. Keep the wood like that, and we can use that for one of the climbers to help mm -hmm. reinforce it. I'll get this closed in. Can you get right under it or not? Mm -hmm. this wood does it? Yeah. So we get that out now then before we start. Charlie and I have been busy replanting some roses and some lavender in these little boxes by the door. This is, I believe, a David Morris rose, um, and it's beautiful white rose already it's blooming, cream. as you can see, or cream. Yeah, um, cream. And then we've got three little lavenders down here. And then on this side, again, the three lavenders, and this is a beautiful, slightly peachy pink rose, which is currently in bud. Both of them are climbing roses, so we're hoping that they will grow all the way up and yeah, over sure. this archway and that will look so so beautiful. We will need to attach them I think when they, I don't know how quickly these will grow but we will also need to start attaching them as they get up. Yeah, so now we have things which used to be in these tubs, um, I'm not sure the name of the white flower and then some roses which weren't too happy here so we're going to try and find new homes yeah. for these. Before anyone says it obviously we shouldn't really have moved these given they flowered but time we wanted to get these ready yeah. didn't we? I think if we feed them more they'll be, be fine. fine. I think they'll be fine. Yeah. What do you think Dexy? Well when I was training Monty Don I told him he can do whatever the hell he likes in his garden. Thank you for those words of wisdom my eldest. Oh god this really is. Do you think that's gonna be all right? Yeah I think so. It'd be lovely if we could get some roses growing up and around the secret gateway. What is that brown thing? Yes, I think it might be the either a I think Stephen thought it was a thick what was it? It was something Kiwi. Yeah. My goodness. I don't know. I just said to Charlie, my dappled Daxi is sitting in the dappled sunshine. A dapple in a dapple. You are so beautiful. Even though your hair is so long and you're so scruffy. You are my boy and I love you. One lavender trough completed and looking absolutely gorgeous. And now we're on to the second. They take a lot of compost, but luckily we've put some terracotta pot pieces down in the bottom. Well, hopefully we'll have our own compost in a couple of years when we have sorted our composting area. Yeah. But for now, we are having to use the store stuff, which isn't ideal, but... Gotta start somewhere.
had another really lovely delivery today and it was from Coast. They very kindly um, emailed me last week asking if I'd like to choose a couple of things from their website and I chose this beautiful um, puff sleeve bardo style crop top. It looks so lovely, I might try it on with my shorts. Um, and then this gorgeous white with this lovely floral embro embroidery puff sleeve dress with a little waist belt. I think I'm going to hop in the shower and then pop this on for dinner, but quickly I will show you this with the shorts that I've got on now. I think that'll be a really cute outfit. Oh, this is just absolutely adorable. So the blouse, um, or the top I should say, is a really lovely princess neckline. I'm not wearing a bra right now, so it'd probably fit a little bit better if I was. Lovely puff sleeves and a cropped length, which is perfect if you're wearing high-waisted shorts. Doesn't look quite right at the moment because I have no makeup on and very scruffy hair. So I'm going to hop in the shower um, and then I will try the dress on for you. But I'll leave the top as well as the dress linked down below because I think this is an absolutely gorgeous piece. Goodness me, I am a little rouge. I think it's because I've just been running up the stairs as well as spending a full day out in the glorious sunshine. At this point, I actually don't know what I would do without this. So this is the Batiste Dry Shampoo, but it's the one that gives a hint of colour for blondes. Um, I've just popped on the Coast dress as well, but I have sprayed my roots because I couldn't be bothered to wash my hair. Um, sprayed my roots with the dry shampoo and after I get out of the shower I like to put my hair in a bun and I sometimes feel like the moisture from the shower helps to just bring the curls back a little bit. I'll probably properly shampoo and wash my hair tomorrow but if I leave it in a bun for 20 minutes or so then hopefully the curls will come back to life. This is what the dress looks like. Very voluminous sleeves which I actually quite like. I think maybe a little OTT for wearing at home but um, I'm going to walk around the garden with Charlie and we're going to see if there's anywhere cute to take a picture. Do you know what? Even just here would be so nice um, if I tidied up the room a little bit. But yeah we're going to mooch around the garden, take a picture and then I'm going to change in something a little bit more wearable to make some side dishes for our barbecue tonight. So we're taking a family trip down the garden. I've got my Lueve basket bag. I think it'd be nice to take some pictures down here if the lighting is as good as I'm hoping it's going to be. It's nearly seven o'clock. That sun is still packing a punch. Hmm, where to snap? I like to have a bit of light behind me. I reckon by the ladder. Yeah? Could be. If you stand in front of that ladder. We got a few snaps. The lighting wasn't ideal um, and Charlie wanted to get cooking so we only took like 10 photos but hopefully there'll be something in there that might be good for the gram um, because I wanted to get a nice snap of that dress and I think the weather's going to be rubbish for the next week or so so I'm not sure when else I'll be able to get any photos but I've just popped my lovely floral midi dress back on again. I'm living in this dress especially in the evenings it's just perfect for early summer evenings out on the patio I feel like I'm decently covered but it's still just very pretty and lightweight and that is a seven o'clock bell so I'm going to go downstairs and help Charlie with the barbecue. <coughs> I just thought I'd show you Charlie's attempt at toasted pine nuts, completely frazzled from our perfect chef. <laughs> he didn't realise quite how hot the aga gets. Every summer evening, of course, has to finish with a glass of rosé. Tonight we're having the Mirabeau Classic and it is absolutely divine. <laughs> Charlie has been up to the loft and has found the balls. You're going to have to explain to me how to play, darling. 